all in one piece. My Joe Murphy. Mr. Large is getting ready for work. Don't forget the office dinner dance tonight, dear, he said. Of course I won't, said Mrs. Large. I've been thinking about it all year. Are children allowed at the dinner dance? asked Lester. No, said Mrs. Large. It'll be too late for little ones. What about baby? asked Luke. Granny is coming to take care of everyone, said Mrs. Large, so there's no need to worry. Granny arrived at tea time. The children were already bathed in their night clothes. Granny gave them some painting to do while she tidied up, and Mr. and Mrs. Large went upstairs to get ready. Luke sneaked into the bathroom while Mr. Large was shaving. Will I have to shave when I grow up? he asked, patting Chloe into his trunk. Go away, said Mr. Large. I don't want you ruining my best trousers. The baby crept into the bedroom while Mrs. Large was putting on her makeup. Mrs. Large didn't notice until it was too late. Baby putting all of Mrs. Marge's makeup on. <laughs> Look, said the baby, pretty. Don't move, said Mrs. Marge. Don't touch anything. Outside on the landing, things were even worse. Laura was clopping about in her mother's best shoes and beads, and Lester and Luke were seeing how many toys they could cram into her new tights. Oh no. Downstairs at once, bellowed Mrs. Marsh. Can't I just have a bit one just one night in the whole year to myself? One night when I'm not covered in jam and poster paint. One night when I can put on my new dress and walk through the front door all in one piece. The children went downstairs to Granny. Mr. Large followed soon after, very smart in his best suit. At last, Mrs. Large appeared in the doorway. How do I look? she asked. Pretty mummy, gasped the children. What a smasher, said Mr. Large. You look like a film star, dear, said Granny. Hands off, said Mrs. Large to the paint smeared children. Oh no, look, she sat on the paint. Mr. and Mrs. Large got ready to leave. Goodbye, everyone, they said. Be good now. The baby began to cry. Just go, said Granny, picking her up. She'll stop as soon as you've left. Have a lovely time. We've escaped, said Mr. Large with a smile, closing the front door behind them. All in one piece, said Mrs. Large, and not a smear of paint between us. Actually, said Mr. Large gallantly, you'd look wonderful to me even if you were covered in paint. Which was perfectly true. And just as well, really.